friends, welcome back to Team Soccer TV. I'm gonna bring you some more fun transfer news. Hope you like. Uh, hope you guys like the new setup. Hope you guys didn't miss me that much. I was a little bit busy, and I'm gonna throw out a bunch of videos for you guys. So let's start with the first topic: is that Tottenham has agreed an eight million dollar deal with Swansea over their Ben Davis defender. It's a done deal. This is the first signing of Tottenham for this summer. They're building defense, they're trying to make their defense stronger because last year it suffered and it ruined their chance to play in Championship League. Alright, so Alexis Sanchez has cut his uh, summer break shorter because now there's a thing that's going on. He has to go talk to Liverpool, he has to go talk to Arsenal. He says he's favoring Arsenal more than Liverpool, but we'll see what team he's going to go. If he doesn't go to Liverpool, Liverpool will only get more money for Suarez when he goes to Barcelona. Tell me if Sanchez will join Liverpool or should he join Arsenal? Comment below if you're a true soccer fan. Alright, so Manchester, uh, not Manchester, Everton has officially made it clear they want to go after Tom Cleverly. They want to sign the guy. He's an amazing talent. He just never got a lot of playing time at Manchester United. And I think when he goes to Everton with Barkley and Stones, this is a better team that's growing and getting stronger and bigger. Everton looks like a good team. All they need to do is keep one good striker at the team and build around them. What do you guys think? Will Everton actually be challenging for Premier League one day? Or will they just stay mediocre like Fulham and all those teams? Comment below and tell me. Alright, so this is pretty cool. I know it's sad, but Atletico Madrid is trying to sell to run to force a move for Cazorla. They really want to sign Cazorla, so they're going to say a sell to run. Turan is a good player for Atletico Madrid, but he didn't do that much last year. So I don't know what's going to happen, but Cazorla isn't worth more than Turan, so I don't know why they're doing it. Alright, so Wenger is monitoring uh, Grenier from Lyon. He's a great center attacking mid, still young, 2022. This guy needs a good team. Arsenal will create him a little bit better. Comment below and tell me if you know Grenier and should he join Arsenal. In my eyes, I really think he should because Arsenal is just a creative team and they only make younger players better. Alright, so West Ham is need on signing Morales. Morales, do you guys remember Morales, the player from Chelsea? Yes, he's a free agent. West Ham wants to sign Morales from Portugal. They want to make him the main man down there. I don't know if it's a good thing, but Morales still got time in him, still got playing time in him. Hope he goes to Premier League and does something good. All right, so this is the number one topic for a lot of play, uh, for a lot of teams. But Chelsea has officially renewed interest in Carvalho from Sporting Lisbon. This is a good player. He's only 22 years old. He has shown a lot, but he's playing for very cheap at Sporting Lisbon. So I think he's going to be moving this season, especially if Chelsea and Manchester United makes it clear that they want to sign him. This is going to be a done deal. Alright, so Manchester United is closing in on a Vermaelen deal. They put in £11 million. This has been accepted by Arsenal. Vermaelen said, I'm sorry, I'm a huge Gunner fan, but I need to win trophies. I need to move to a bigger team. Manchester United is the right team for him to move to build a stronger team at Manchester United. And you know what, Van Gaal? Maybe you are getting a little bit better at Manchester United with the signings. Thank you for signing Luke Shaw and Herrera. This guy will only make it stronger if you sign Vermaelen. Alright, so Liverpool is the favorites, right, of signing RBG, but Dortmund can't hijack this player. He's only, what is he? He's a 19-year-old striker, winger. Dortmund really needs somebody good, and RBG would be amazing at Dortmund, especially because he would be the number one man. Oh, let's go real fast. If you're a huge Dortmund fan, guess who left us? Sheba. Sheba has le uh, left us for Hertha Berlin. This is sad. You know what? I love this guy. I think Klopp would have, should have given him more point in time and he would have settled, settled in much better like Lewandowski back then. But Sheba, have a good career at Hertha. Alright, let's go to the next news where, remember I said that Bentner was a free agent? Now Southampton are planning to sign the guy, especially since Osvaldo is interested by uh, Inter Milan and Napoli. No, no, not Napoli, Udinese. Those two teams will be fighting to sign in Osvaldo. But if Oswaldo does leave, this is the greatest replacement for Southampton strikers. Bentner, please go to Southampton and prove Arsene Wenger that he was wrong. Alright fans, hopefully you guys enjoy my news. I'm cutting them a little bit shorter because it takes a long time to edit and upload it. But I'll still do a lot of news for you guys. Hopefully you 
you enjoy my videos, you know what? If you're a true soccer fan, come and join my channel. Keep on subscribing. I'm hitting almost 400 subscribers. I'm loving it. Thank you so much, fans, for all your support. I will keep this going. And thank you so much, all the comments. All right, fans? Have a good one.